Hello, this is Marcus Hopkins. I have been uh, targeted um, by a very technologically advanced group of spies um, basically stalking me remotely, um, not really driving by my house very often or making loud noises every day, but some days in my neighborhood. Uh, they snuck an implant in my ear uh, with the otoscope in 2007 uh, in Las Cruces, New Mexico at a medical clinic, a PA, when my regular doctor primary was not there. And he injected a bioelectronic that could record sounds and also produce sounds in my head. Um, it felt like a sharp needle piercing when he looked in my ear with his otoscope. Um, they could also maybe read uh, pressure gradients inside my ear canal to, to decipher certain things uh, going on with my brain activity. Um, okay, then uh, I heard voices after that one time uh, a couple months later and then one time like a year later way out in the wilderness uh from an italian and a mexican uh, harassing me um then in early 2011 uh two hispanics i woke up and saw um holding a tube over my mouth uh for sedating me in my bedroom on my bed when i went uh after I went to sleep uh, in Albuquerque, New Mexico at my mom's uh, two-story adobe house in Albuquerque, uh, Los Ranchos, New Mexico, um, they uh, then did brain surgery on me and put uh, chips um, somehow into my brain uh, with um, elect micro-electrodes, uh, probably a transceiver uh, that gets satellite reception somewhere in my body maybe up here or maybe down here wirelessly connected to power coils power inducers uh, micro electrodes um, microchip perhaps uh, CMOS uh, program or ASIC program those are the uh, abbreviations um, CMOS and um, uh, maybe like a CPU um, and then they started uh, interpreting with the rays of microelectrodes on uh, many groups of my neurons uh, what I was thinking and what I was hearing at the same time and what I was saying at the same time. Uh, and also at the same time they could send sounds uh, or what seemed like a sound, um, like an imitation of a sound to my brain. Then they shot me with direct energy weapons over 50,000 times in that house with the de mobile device snuck in the ductwork. Uh, a little direct en miniaturized direct energy weapon uh, that was moving around the ductwork at my mom's house in Albuquerque. Um, and they would shoot me with it every day and cause pains in my body. And whenever I put a 100 pound pulling weight magnet against the area that uh, was beamed with uh, radio frequency or a microwave or a laser um, the pain went away in seconds but otherwise the pain would dwindle for minutes on end uh, sometimes hours sometimes even days depending on how intense the pain created from the direct energy weapon was uh, they were also um, started transmitting voices in my head uh, when I was 30 32 years old um, pretty regularly uh, then at University of New Mexico Hospital in Albuquerque, uh, a, a triage nurse, a platinum blonde haired male, uh, intravenously injected um, uh, neural prosthetics in me that were uh, like a pack of microelectrodes that a, a sub millimeter sized biobot uh, went through the vein in my arm upon the hypodermic needle injection. Uh, to uh, pairs of my spinal nerves and started causing thousands of involuntary movements in my body every day such as twitches, shakes, jolts, muscle contractions, um, 
shoves, little shoves, pulls and pushes, um, uh, even like whaps or feeling like a, just like a weird quick little electrical excitation in muscle groups all over my body uh, just started happening one day after the um, triage nurse at that University of New Mexico Hospital's ED um, injected uh, neuroprosthetic type or bioelectronics in me with microelectrodes, arrays of microelectrodes uh, are still attached to uh, my spinal nerves around my spine. There's 31 pairs of spinal nerves from the bottom to the top of every human spine. Um, and some of these uh, have been compromised and used to remotely assault me now um, over 35 million times. I was also intravenously injected, this time by a Hispanic uh, blood draw technician who said this is for Spain while drawing three vials of my blood and simultaneously injecting more microelectrodes that went to lower uh, pairs of my spinal nerves to, to force new uh, involuntary muscle contractions or movements in my body um, uh, below my, my torso, so like in my buttocks, my genitals, my legs. Um, and then also uh, it, the BioBot carried some up to uh, spinal nerves uh, that um, create, um, or afferent nerves uh, connected that create uh, movements in my face, such as my tongue. Uh, they created over a million shakes and movements in my tongue since 2016 um, after I was injected a second time uh, with uh, a biobot uh, by these like ruthless organized crim criminals with sophisticated technology um, they've remotely raped me or sexually assaulted me um, not sure how to define the difference um, sexually molested me uh, thousands of times um, pretty much every day, a few times a day, uh, they stimulate my buttocks muscles and my genitals. Uh, they squeeze my lower back and my pelvis muscles um, and my genitals. Um, they're very pervert and uh, it's very sad that the neurologists um, heard a bogus diagnosis of me from the first uh, hospital that um, had a corrupt employee that injected intravenously injected neuroprosthetics in me that were carried by a biobot to my spinal nerves uh, that same day when I was injected the first time which started causing millions of or thousands of involuntary movements a day in my body I never had them before that and it's impossible for my body to create or replicate or imitate uh, or reproduce the types of movements that these perverse criminals uh, remotely induce in my body every day, usually thousands of times a day. Uh, that same hospital, uh, the triage nurse, where the triage nurse injected me, uh, hours after that, they misdiagnosed me as schizophrenic. Um, they had a couple things they could say resembled schizophrenia, so and they totally ran with that. And they still are. Um, that was January 3rd, 2014. Then I was injected again at uh, Fairview Edina Hospital in um, Minnesota by a, a Hispanic with very long black and white hair in his 50s. And he just said, this is for Spain. And he had no reason to, uh, to draw my blood at, while I was at the Substance Recovery Unit, March 15th, 2016. Um, since then, they have new involuntary muscle contractions in my face and tongue and like I said below my torso and my legs they they throw me off balance all the time they send uh, electric shocks through different types through my torso my back arms um, yeah and then uh one other time uh, another Hispanic he said he was Brazilian and Italian uh, he was at a sober home I was at um, January 23rd 2023 uh, he put a sedative in me and then put new uh, electrodes that actually caused physical pain in my afferent nerves instead of just movements through my efferent nerves like the previous uh, 
implants, devices. Um, his name was Gilberto. He's a short troll. I mean a short human with uh, dark brown skin. And he said he's Brazilian and Italian. Yeah, um, he sedated me. He put something in my drink. And I was unresponsive, unconscious for four hours. And then since January 24th of 2023, I've had... Um, hundreds of new types of pains in my body uh, that are remotely turned off and on in a sadistic way by some of the same sadistic uh, perpetrators, stalkers, gangsters, uh, technologically fir technological firm or defense contractor um, affiliates. Uh, and it's just a shame I've been remotely assaulted over 40 million times since I got targeted uh, in 2011 and um, remotely spied on by jealous Hispanic satanic stalkers in Las Cruces, New Mexico in um, the end of uh, 2007. Um, pretty much, uh, and then they destroyed four of my car engines, uh, four of my computers, five of my smartphones. Um, an acre of grassland that they turn back into weeds. Um, they're they're really some of the worst humans ever, I think. And they have some of the most advanced technology ever. It's ironic that the worst people ever could get their hands on remote neural monitoring technologies uh, and remote neural manipulating technologies um, and then all the apathy among doctors and the FBI and the police uh, even your own family or friends will be like oh they're crazy I don't want to believe that well it's true I'm 100% certain and I'm just gonna finish recording now uh, there is a lot more though I could say um, just look up neuroprosthetics and micro electrodes and like uh, wireless power induction uh, to to activate the the electrodes through like radio transceivers satellite radio transceivers 